Hello and welcome to the virtual event for BA Fine Arts Sculpture at Camboyle College of Arts. My name's Hannah, I'm one of the student recruitment and marketing managers at the college and today I'm going to take you through a short introduction to the college, what it's like to study with us, our facilities and support services, before handing over to the course leader for a course introduction. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, a little bit about the university. So University of the Arts London, UAL, we're made up of six separate colleges and each of those colleges has a different specialism or different approach to their subject. Now, once again, we've been ranked second in the world in the QS World University subject rankings for art and design this year. But Camberwell itself as a college is a really unique place to study. It's got a very long, rich history. So it's around about 125 years old and it was purpose built to be an art and design school. Our college ethos is all about rethinking current practices and cultivating new. And we embrace both traditional craftsmanship, but also new digital technology. And we really encourage our students to find their own path and have the freedom to explore their individuality through their practice whilst they study with us. In terms of location, Tambwell is based in South East London and we're right at the heart of a creative community. Uh, we're surrounded by galleries, project spaces, artist studios, a real thriving local art scene. And the college itself is very much part of that. There's also plenty of places to eat, drink and socialise locally, both in Camberwell and Peckham. And we're very lucky to have four halls of residence, all within easy walking distance of the college as well. And you'll see the closest one being Gardens House pictured here on the slide. Now, although we're based in South East London, we also have great transport links to central London, so our students can take advantage of the city centre as well. In terms of facilities available to our students, so we have the UAL library services. Now, once you're a student at one of our colleges, you also gain access to all six college libraries. Now, everything you would need on to the day to day, you'll find in the Camberwell Library, and we have a dedicated subject librarian to help guide our students through the different resources available. There's also the UAL archives and special collections, and also lots of other online resources as well, things like LinkedIn Learning and Box of Broadcasts. We also have learning zones available. Uh, those are at Central St Martins, one at Camberwell, and also one at London College Communication. Now these learning zones are much more kind of informal, flexible learning spaces. So maybe if you've got a collaborative project, you need a space to meet, uh, you could use the learning zones for that purpose. They're also open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that means that maybe if you're up against a deadline, you have the flexibility to use these. And they're made up of kind of group meeting spaces, IT suites, and also a small practical making space. We also have a central loan store at Camberwell. So this is where you would go to hire out any audio or visual equipment you may need. So things like maybe data projectors, laptops, cameras, lighting, sound recording equipment, all of that is available free of charge from the central loan store. Now our workshops facilities at Camberwell, so we have a whole range of professional workshops and facilities for our students to use, but also each course is supported by individual specialist technicians who work specifically with that course in studio with our students. So starting off with the printmaking centre, so the Printmaking Centre provides both traditional and digital facilities, so students can work with things like uh, screen, mono, relief printing, working with plate and stone lithography. We've got a fantastic letterpress workshop and also etching as well. Our Photography Centre, so that offers students the opportunity to use a photographic studio. We have colour and black and white processing and also our specialist print darkroom as well. Now the 3D workshops, so these support students to work with metal, ceramics, plastic and wood. So those are based uh, across the college. So we have the ceramics, which is based on the ground floor. We have a casting and also the foundry and metal work, which is actually based on the same floor as the sculpture studios. So we find that our sculpture students tend to use these facilities quite a lot. Now, alongside the technical support, we also have pastoral support available for our students, and that comes under our student services at UAL. So these include our student advice service, our academic support service, counselling, health advice, multi-faith chaplaincy service, and also our disability support service. Now, all of these are available to our students are completely free of charge and confidentially whilst you study with us. And some of these you may be able to access before you join us. So, for instance, if you're an international student and maybe you need a visa to study with us, we have immigration specialists that you can speak to. 
These services are based at the college in Camberwell, but we also have a central hub in High Holborn, which is in central London, and students can attend the services at either of those locations. We've also got a fantastic careers and employability team, and this team work across the university to support our students and graduates with their personal and professional development. So that includes things like job opportunities, internships, mentoring, opportunities to showcase and exhibit work, and all of this support is free and accessible to our students and graduates. They also do lots of workshops and one-to-one -one sessions, so you can learn a lot of skills as an extracurricular activity through this team. We've also got a really active Arts SU, so the Students' Union. They offer our students an independent help and advice service. We also have something called Made in Arts London, which is run by our union, and that is all about showcasing an exhibition. We also have a whole host of societies and sports clubs for our students to engage with. And when you first join us, we do something called the Big Welcome, which is the first week that you join us. You'll get the opportunity to meet reps from the different societies, sports clubs, and um, get to know what they're all about, how to join them, but also to orientate you to the college and the local area as well. Now, after you, today's session, if you're interested in finding out a bit more about studying with us, we have lots of helpful advice on our portfolio advice webpage, and that will take you all through what a portfolio is, digital portfolios, advice about personal statements as well. We have the course page on our website, which details all the units, so you can always refer to that. We are also running monthly campus tours, so you can book onto those. And there's a whole host of UAL discovery webinars happening as well. Things like um, accommodation services at UAL, portfolio advice, and also an introduction to undergraduate study. So do take a look on the open day pages with that. And then just a reminder, if you're interested in applying to us, you need to apply through UCAS.com. And the deadline for that is the 31st of January, 2024, if you're looking to join us in September, 2024. Now, you can always get in touch with us. We are Camberwell underscore inquiries at arts.ac.uk. Our team are always very happy to help. If you don't already, do give us a follow on social. We're at Camberwell UAL. You'll find lots of lovely content from our students and also getting to know a little bit about student life at the college as well. OK, thank you so much for listening to the introduction. I'm now going to hand over to the course leader for a in course introduction to sculpture at Camberwell. BA sculpture is subject specific, not medium specific course. Students often ask, can I do performance? Can I make audio works? Students on our course have freedom to explore all of their ideas regardless of media. The studio spaces are very bright and open, easy to navigate. Tools and materials are very easy to access. It's a very vibrant studio culture. We are situated on the fifth floor of A Block, right next to 3D workshops. It's a relatively small course with approximately 30 students in each year. And all tutors are practicing artists. And we have two studio specialized sculpture technicians that only work on our course. This is the most recent image showing you our newly refurbished studios. We have dedicated spaces for large scale work with smaller spaces that are more appropriate to specific types of practice. Studio space is designed so that it's very adaptable with areas containing desks that have greater privacy and areas that are allocated specifically for showing and documenting work. And this is an image from Monday when Year One started their first collaborative project with recycled and found material. Focus of the course is thinking through making and we encourage material and process experimentation and embrace all forms of art practice. We expect our students to engage with issues and ideas fostering critical thinking and debate reflecting social, racial and climate justice. And the course supports diverse and inclusive practices and positive studio culture. Our staff are active makers and are continually refreshing their knowledge, skills and teaching. 
BA Sculpture is a relatively small course and you very soon meet everyone on the course. Throughout the year we plan a lot of cross-year social events which are on-site or off-site where different years have different tasks in preparing and hosting. In terms of course overview, it's a three-year study. In year one, students complete a number of inductions to workshops where they acquire necessary skills. First two units are, are pass and fail, so emphasis is on getting used to the course, to the building, to your peers, and to build confidence rather than on grading. You will be you will be part of a number of group and individual projects which explore materials and build social dynamic. And in year one, you begin to understand how research and critical thinking apply to art practice. In terms of workshops, students have access to printmaking, photography, film, moving image, digital, plastic, ceramics, wood and metal work, but also library and project spaces. There will be a number of scheduled gallery and museum visits and a variety of engagement with professional practice. For example, tonight we have an invitation from Sachi Gallery for their opening of Season of Sculptures. So a number of students are going to that. It's very exciting. In year two, you will continue to identify and develop specialisms in your chosen area of practice. You will be increasing your confidence through self-directed study and regular feedback. Year two is focused on refining practice and through taking part in off-site show with your peers across courses, you will critically contextualize an artist's work through written essay or presentation. And you will be preparing a detailed proposal for your third final year. Uh, and you will also be working al alongside third year students helping with the degree show and writing a manifesto about context of your practice. During year three, which is your final year, you will continue to develop your unique voice and practice and you will be engaged in self-directed study with close supervision of tutorials, seminars and studio critiques. At the moment, year three students are in the middle of preparing their off-site exhibition in a gallery where they will be showing work collaboratively with their fellow students from other courses to a professional standard. Year three is culminating with a degree show, which is the most important part and very exciting moment of your study. That's when in sculpture all three years come together to support year three students to achieve their best through buddy up groups that assist degree show build and offer support through their final stages of finalizing the work. Focus of the, this final year is to acquire necessary professional skills in preparation for life after college. You will be encouraged to proactively engage with communities within and outside of the art school to build sustainable and ethical working relationships. Studying in London, we are immersed um, in a global multicultural capital, which is an incredible resource. This is an example of our monthly sculpture newsletter composed together with staff and students uh, to form a resource for students to use. It's updated monthly and students often meet up to see shows, socialize, and use this monthly newsletter as a useful guide. We schedule a number of opportunities to meet art world professionals and be part of variety of work placements, take part in studio visits, and artist talks and workshops. All fine art students take part in cross-course lecture program which is designed to widen your critical, theoretical and historical knowledge. It's for all Camberwell undergraduate students studying drawing, painting, photography, sculpture and computational arts. But there is also a sculpture program specifically designed for the course where students and staff get to invite a range of artists and professionals and learn from their diverse input and experience. 
This is just a selection of artists that we recently invited, and this image shows a workshop with artist Florian Reutmeier that focused on sensory experience with working with clay. And this is an off-site seminar with artist Manasi Popale focusing on history of public monuments and their colo colonial legacy. Unique to sculpture are cross-year research groups where uh, students get to spend a day working with one of our tutors on their specific research area. We recently focused on performance, humor, migration, collaboration, body, and plants. Students work in range of media and approaches to making work. Some students work with more traditional material or found material, recycled material, textiles. Some consider making work for public spaces. Some are working with clay or constructing um, wearable sculpture that involves performance. Some involve bronze casting on larger or smaller scale, or they're focusing on digital material practices associated with sculpture, involving a range of skills, employing Arduino, robotics, fusion, 3D printing, stop animation, blender, or they work with performance. All forms of contemporary sculpture methods and approaches are encouraged, which enable our students to think of art practices in its most expanded form and its relationship to other art forms. In recent years, uh, years one, two and three had a chance to propose and make work for program-wide shows in professional spaces in London. These exhibitions were open to the public, and through that, students had a chance to gain insights in audience and context. All our students have the opportunity and are supported in exhibiting their work to an external audience. We have a number of ongoing collaborations with institutions and professionals offering a range of opportunities. Recently, our students won Sculpture Prize David Trotsky, uh, uh, Matt's Gallery Studio Award, Hannah Pescher Sculpture Garden Award, and Surrey Sculpture Prize. In the third year, all students can, if they wish, undertake a work placement instead of written dissertation or practical live project. Others have worked with educational or occult curatorial institutions such as Tate, Chisholm, or within a specialist area such as Foundry. Between year two and three, you can opt to take the Diploma in Professional Studies or the Diploma in Creative Computing. And whilst these diplomas are optional aspects, of course, they're designed as integrated and assessed part of your journey through the course. Students will also have opportunity to take part in the college's international exchange scheme to study abroad. Recent BA Fine Arts students have spent part of their study with partner institutions in Leipzig, Madrid, Marseille, Milan, New York, and Tokyo. Uh, last year, sculpture students uh, took part in international exchange with Vilnius Art Academy of Fine Arts, and they spent time in their renowned international residency program, Nida Art Colony. And during uh, our exchange trip, students were able to gain insights into a pioneering, pioneering reforestation project hosted by Venice Architectural Biennial. Number of students took part in international exchange with Nanyang, NAFA Singapore uh, exchange, and students had a wide range of activities and visits carefully structured during their stay in Singapore which enriched their studies and broadened their professional development. What can you do after graduating? Many students go on to study internationally, but also at the RCA, Royal Academy, Goldsmiths, Slate. Our students are regularly showing and being shown in curated exhibitions and prizes, um, Caitlin Art Prize, New Contemporaries, 
we continue to strengthen existing partnerships with curatorial and educational institutions such as Mads Gallery, Tate, Chisholm Hill, Free Sculpture Park, but also building on established networks within specialist areas such as Foundry and Ameling, aiming to create opportunities for future academic industry engagements. As a result, our graduates are getting jobs with artists, fabricators, galleries, museums, prop makers, theatre and costume designers. The skills you learn in sculpture apply to a huge range of jobs and we support our students applying and pursuing um, careers after graduation. And this is an image of a solo show of our recent graduate in Sculpture Centre in New York. Thank you and very much looking forward to receiving your applications.